What's up guys and welcome back to the Angler Call of the Wild where we are doing the challenge missions. We are now at Diamond's Peak map challenge number two where we catch a gold rank largemouth bass at the map location. Well, good for us because we know exactly how to catch largemouth bass that are gold ranked. We've done a lot of it. So we have our choices. We can go with a number five frog, a number four frog, a number four leech, a number four minnow. Um, we can probably even do a number four uh, red worm. So um, yeah, we, we've we've got our, our our choice of what we want to do here. So we got this spot up here. Now this spot, if I remember correctly, was very difficult to trigger. So it might take us a little bit to get up there. Yeah, it's probably going to take us a little bit to get up there um, and to get it set up properly to where it triggers. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to grab our number four hook. Um, we've been working on the red worm, so I'm going to grab that guy there. And over here, we'll grab the... Uh, huh. These are not the guys that I want. I mean, I could probably catch them with a number four spoon but I'm not confident on that. Let's uh, let's go to the storage here. We're gonna switch this up. Let's get rid of the spoon. I don't want it, I'm not gonna use it. Uh, we'll get rid of that guy. And uh, how about a number four frog? Yeah, there we go. We'll go ahead and set this rod up. That way once we get there, we can just get straight to fishing. Awesome. So I kind of know where this is at, but uh, so they're basically saying right up over here. So we can set our waypoint there. The last time I did this, it was difficult. I'll just put it that way. It was difficult. We could fast travel. Actually, we can fast travel anywhere we want and get there kind of quickly, can't we? Let's just fast travel over here. Make life a little bit easier on us. 2,000 feet, I mean, I could have gotten into a truck, but what's the point, right? Hopefully the sound of the AC isn't cutting through too bad. If it is, I do apologize. Alright, so we're pretty close and this is where things get a little dicey on getting this thing to trigger. Hopefully that changed with the updates. Um, I'm not going to hold my breath. But we're going to try it on the road first to see if it triggers. If not, then I'm probably going to have to go right by the, the shore there of the river. That's how I got it to trigger the last time. And I did a video about that too. I got a sneeze. Alright, done sneezing and uh, yeah, it did not trigger on the road. So we're going to come over here and um, see if I can't find that stupid tree branch that I walked by last time. Where is it? I think I done passed it already. Well, what the hell? I 
think it was, no, it wasn't that one. Huh. Oh, there it is. So this is the what. this is, right up in here is where it triggered for me last time. I remember from this weird looking log. But now it's not triggering for me. And this is really, really upsetting. Um, like, seriously? <laughs> really? Just to get this thing to trigger. Ah, this is so infuriating. Like, I've done this so many times, just walking back and forth, trying to get this thing to trigger. And this is something that I really wish the devs would fix, because this is just stupid. We know we're at the right location. I know we're at the right location. It didn't trigger on the road, and we just walked back and forth, what, four times? So check it out. Here's us. Now if we come over to the journal, it's showing us right here. We're there. We're flipping there. Like, where we are right now is exactly where this is showing us to be at. But this is just not triggering. Maybe if I look around... Cause I know that was an issue on one of them. Yep, okay, so that's not working. I had it trigger, I swear I had it triggered by like one of these weird funky things before. And I don't know how it triggered like I swear it's based on where you're looking or maybe it's over here by these ones if anybody's getting motion sick I apologize but this is ridiculous this is absolutely ridiculous We were, I don't know how to get this thing to trigger. Or was it this one? And I mean, this is why I'm doing these videos because this stuff is so ridiculous, man. Like. Why won't it trigger? We're at the location. <laughs> we are straight up at the location. I don't get this. I mean, you can look at this, right? And you got this bend that comes up. And then you get another little bend right here. And it's like a third of the way up on this portion. And it's showing it right on the freaking trail. So here's that one band, here's the other, it should be right there. It, like, seriously, that's where it should be. When we come out a little bit further, that's closer to the perspective, right? I mean, that's damn near perfect where we have this at. I mean, you can't get much more accurate than this. So we're here, still nothing. Right. <laughs> uh, we may put this challenge off till later. Because right now, um, yeah. I got it to trigger once in my last uh, playthrough, 
and it just kind of took me by surprise. It's like, wait, what? It worked? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I walked like this way, and it triggered. And here, wait, oh, there it goes. It just triggered. It just triggered right here. So for those wondering, <laughs> this is where it triggered. So far away from where we were supposed to be, it just triggered right over here. So basically you want to split these two road systems in half and get right up on the water. That's where it triggered for me. Right up on the water. Right. Okay. Good. Let's catch a bass. Um, I could use... I could use my lure rod. Yeah, they're, they're right out over there. Let's, uh... We'll try the float. I'm working on the red worms anyway, so... Or the blood worms, whatever this is. Dude, seriously? Like, I can grab that thing. Ugh. So when I caught this the last time, I actually got up on this little island right here. And that worked out really well for me. So maybe I'll try to replicate that. Let's bring this in, I don't know, 87. We'll give it some time to soak there. If we don't get anything, then we'll bring it in some more. So about 30 seconds is what I wait uh, for float fishing and for jigging to reel in a little bit. Yeah, that took us, what, 12 minutes just to get the location? Are you shitting me? This should be our gold. <laughs> it, it should be. be funny if this ends up being a diamond. Not a diamond, but there's our gold. Eight pound, mission done. <laughs> so, oi caramba. Alright, uh, because I forgot last time, we'll go ahead and take some screenshots. Good, hopefully I'll remember what these screenshots were. And that is the Diamond's Peak Map Challenge number two, done and dusted. Let's check out what we use. As usual, we've got our Nexus, the Rudel Flug, the 17 pound monofilament, our bubble, and I keep hitting this damn plate, uh, hook size number four, and we used a red worm in this case, and it worked out just fine. So, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If I've heard it, hit that subscribe button. And as always, be safe, be cool, and have fun. We'll catch you in the next one.